Uh, first, what does it mean to represent something? I think I know, but I'm asking what I should know. And second, uh, is it does to represent something? Is that different than to mean something? Um, first of all, the, the big question you asked the big R question, of mm. course. The, so, so the, the, the the answer to the second point is that uh, representing is a component of meaning, but it's not sufficient. Okay. Uh, however, once we get representing, we're a long way to get to having meaning. Yeah, right. And what does it rep And representing is when one configuration of matter is about another configuration of matter. So yeah, yeah. here's a configuration of matter, okay? And you generally will interpret it as about another configuration of, of matter or an acoustical disturbance, you know, the letter of the alphabet. Y and various configurations of matter that realize that letter of the alphabet. Okay, but of course, if it's a tree whose branches have been knocked off by lightning and which is just sitting there burned out by the side of the road, it doesn't represent, <coughs> even though it's a configuration of matter, the letter Y. I'm not sure that moving from representing, defining representing in terms of being about, is telling me anything. Well, I can't, we can't, do, the, the whole problem is that we can't cash the aboutness That's of out. representation into a purely physical relation between configurations of matter. Except by now, and now Don, uh, da Dan, and Terry want to say, and and the demand that we do so represents a fundamental mistake about the nature of meaning and the program of understanding human thought and speech, right? So that, okay, so in, and how, what is the daylight between representing and meaning? Well, let me, let me give you a sense. Okay, well. um, so oh, this here. could be an orbit, right? This could be an orbit. It, it can represent the movement of a planet around something. It doesn't mean the movement of a planet around something, right? It's iconic. It's, it's like it in some sense. It's got some homomorphisms with what I want to provide. We don't say that that has meaning. Uh, but when I use the word, I describe these words to describe it to you, then you'll say it has meaning. It's a special subset of representing. Um, in uh, some context, some communicative. Yeah, so, so and, and one of the things, the problem with the term meaning is that we, of course, brought it out of language. And we sometimes want to apply it to a domain that's bigger than language. And I think we get in trouble when we try to do that. Right. And, and when I point to something, you know, I can refer to it with my pointing, but it doesn't mean it. And I want to be clear that what, one of the problems when we expand out, the concept of meaning gets us into trouble. And, and I think we want to back away from it uh, and only use it in the special sense and when we're talking about something that has sort of linguistic or symbolic kind of features to it. So I, I, what I'm just trying to say is just beware of that <laughs> overgeneralization. Use it in clearly defined yeah, yeah. places. Yeah. But even in the semantic sense, it's problematic. Oh, absolutely, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Mm. But at least we have some hope. Just, yeah. As a second undergraduate here, so what does cat mean? For what, you? Does, what does cat or fish or table mean? Uh, cat means his to do. <laughs> I mean, since since you know you're, you're talking about meaning as if you had an implicit theory of what meaning is. Now I'd like I guess I'd like to know. Well, there's a number. So of obviously, obviously a number of, of, of so what do you talk what about do you meaning? know? Yeah, but let's 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 pick one so that we can. So well, what well, what well, is well, it that you know when you know the word cat, for instance? Right, right. Well, first of all, you got a reference that'll go with it. Um, do you, you need one? Oh yeah, absolutely. You you have to have at least a relative reference. That is the the classic notion of a semantic network. A uh, cat occupies identifies a position in a semantic network in which you've got animals, you've got dogs, you've got chairs. Um, it's a position there, and it has to refer to that. But by itself, it does not refer to anything in the world. Um, if so I not, it means something by virtue of being in a network with other meanings? Yeah. That, that's yeah, yeah, not, yeah. That's yeah. not, yes, that's not about that's, it. That's about it. Yeah. So now, yeah. It's important to realize that there are a few people in our world who don't agree. Mm -hmm. Fodor, yeah. famously, yes. thinks that as he has put it, there could be an organism that had exactly one Constant. belief. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. the belief, I don't know, the snow is white. <laughs> 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 
and that this would be the true because there would be a state in that organism's nervous system that meant snow is white independently of everything else that just intrinsically meant it. Yeah. Now, for us, this is preposterous. preposterous. <laughs> we, we can't make sense of that at all. We think the only way you could believe that snow is white is by a, knowing what snow is and knowing what white is and having the, the, the conceptual and perceptual equipment to, to <coughs> partition the world into the parts that were snow and the parts that were white and the parts that weren't snow and the parts that weren't well, and white. Having and having so a, you and can't know only one thing about snow. And having an apparatus that allows you to do composition. Exactly. So, which so, is, I'm not, so it's not a freebie, so right? I mean, we think, right. we <laughs> think that meanings, the only hope of a theory of meaning is going to be one which uh, looks at what we might call shorthand network properties. Now, Fodor has a name for this. He calls it meaning holism. Mm -hmm. And he's written a whole book attacking it. Yeah. Don't bother reading that book. Well, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and read it, uh, and, and you can find out how wrong we all are. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, so there are people that, that, that disagree with this. Okay, but it's, I'm, I'm still, I guess, I'm still under unsatisfied mm -hmm. in an undergraduate sense. All you've said is it's in a network. Now tell me more about what that network actually contains. Is it just, for instance, a listing of features? Was no, I mean, no. well, it's uh, okay. So maybe you can develop the concept a bit more. Well, uh, a bit more there are theories. There's, there, there, there's a physical configuration of matter in your head. Okay. And that physical configuration of matter bears certain physical relations to a lot of other configurations of matter that are outside of your head. And that particular set of physical configurations of matter is what constitutes the, the, the meaning of cat. Who thinks that the physical configurations have to do this? Yeah. yeah. Well, how else is going to happen? Well, I mean, so you could mean unicorn. Can, no. yeah, so, the first maybe, thought, maybe, so, so let me just follow up a little bit here. So, on the undergraduate notion, right? I can maybe see a network which is at plays a certain set, like lexical role, and it's related to other objects in my in my meaning space. So, when I say cat is like horse, this this can make sense to me. There's a correlational aspect, presumably, too, to meaning. Sure, that's right. But okay. it, but it doesn't. But what core? But what's correlated? But well, we, we're well, using all this. What, what's let's actually? Let's let's you know. You, yeah, so I have to actually figure point. out what kind yeah, of experiment okay. shows me right. what's in your head. Right. Let's get, what? Let's take and that's actually case. Good, that's not like that's falling good. off a truck. Yeah, that means exactly. I have to make commitments yeah. Yeah. to a representational yeah. set of primitives, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I, so I have to adopt a particular position on, on yeah. let's say, in this case, lexical semantics, yeah. not compositional semantics. So I actually do this sort of thing, and I'm completely unmoved by it's in a network. That's not an account. That's not even descriptively adequate. So first of all, I think my whole view on this is that we're talking at way too high a level. And even as a neuroscientist, I think that you know we're in big trouble because we've got all of these unknowns, and it's such a huge monster. Um, and for, for me, I, I basically have given that story up until I can tell the low story. Um, I don't even want to go there for all of those reasons, even though I spent a good part of my career trying to do that. Um, I think we're so confused about it for exactly the reasons you're asking. Uh, we, you know, and this is the question about verification, about whether verification works, whether correlation is enough, um, whether being in a network is enough. Obviously, there's some kinds of referential relationships, like pointing, that don't need to have any network features to them, um, but yet they provide this feature. Uh, one of the questions really is, is there a kind of internal pointing behavior that's going on in the network? Is the network not just some, some sort of abstraction, but is it actually a kind of internal pointing behavior? I actually think it is, kind of vector kind of system. Um, now, I don't think I can cash that out in the way you would like, uh, nor that I would like. I've been wanting to do it for, you know, a generation. Uh, but I think we can work our way up to it, and I think that's the problem. Yes. I, mean, I think so too. I'm, I'm relentlessly optimistic about this, but I but I think that the that staying at the, the extremely abstract level of discussion is just unhelpful. Yeah, no, I think I, it's I, actually I, time I, to cash we out. Need, we, need to, we need to do this in the pleasure. In the pleasure would be great. Or, I mean, look. But remember, remember, we only we only we, that's we, the we were reluctant. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't we didn't bring up this overly abstract network stuff, right? You, you <laughs> we were we were talking about meaning, and we were using meaning. You appeal, as different from well, Dan appealed to the network as that's what it is, it's being in a network. No, 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 but only in response to the request. To the request that we, 
saying why we think meaning is more than than representation.